Out of all the Terraria weapons we've looked at in the past few years, there is one in particular that I've really been looking forward to review, but probably not for the reasons you'd expect. You see, today we're not only looking at what I class as one of the more obscure and unheard of weapons in the game, but one which I think is the most pointless and obsolete in Terraria, literally having the most non-brain alternatives I've ever seen. Of course I'm talking about the Anchor. Now, before we do truly question why this thing exists though, if you enjoy these weapon reviews, don't forget to drop a like and sub, as it really helps out the channel. Okay, let's start at the root of the problem, its obtainability. Like a handful of other early hard mode Terraria weapons, the Anchor does restrict itself to the delightful pastime everybody loves fishing. I can already hear people's disapproval. The only thing is though, unlike other fishing weapons like the Blade Tongue and Crystal Serpent, it comes out of pearlwood crates. This means that with a very basic fishing setup anywhere in your world, you can very easily have a crack at obtaining this thing. I even found that by just consuming a fishing crate and sonar potion alone, you'll have more than enough fishing power to get plenty of pearlwood crates quickly. And if you are going to go this route, said potions can be crafted with just some basic herbs and natural materials very easily. And if anything, you might want to nerf your fishing power a bit, as I found myself getting higher quality crates than I needed. Either way though, despite the anchor having a surprisingly rare 3.78% chance of dropping from those crates, I managed to get mine after opening just 5, which if I'm honest isn't going to be typical. Okay, let's now take a look at what it can do, and the real downfall of this weapon. Now, to put it politely, the Anchor is just a very mid weapon, with it basically functioning like a hard mode version of the Harpoon, which while does offer a neat swinging functionality unlike other flails, fails to keep up with basically any other early hard mode alternative in terms of DPS, like it's just miles off. And so, this is precisely the point where we need to address the massive elephant in the room. And no, it's not the chain guillotines existing and dealing loads more DPS, but it's the fact of the Dribbler Crippler. You see, aside from this on its own being one of the very best early hardened weapons in the game, its obtainability also comes from fishing, and if I'm completely honest, is easier to get, with one or two nights of Blood Moon fishing probably getting you one. And well, yeah, for those of you who don't know by now, the Dripler Crippler is the beast of early hard mode damage, with it leaving the anchor for dead on these single targets. And well, against multiple targets, I think you know what's coming, with even the anchor's signature ability not closing the gap between it and the competition. And going back to the chain guillotines, and not guillotines like many of you think, ooh. <laughs> Even without any initial piercing, I found its return attack to be more than sufficient for this scenario, also beating the anchor in DPS. So yeah, things are off to a bit of a rough start, but maybe just maybe, they'll improve against the real thing. And well, if I am honest here, being able to two shot a line of mummies does match that of the fabled Dribbler Crippler and beat to speed of the chain guillotines. But that's really where the wins end, with it simply being one of the absolute worst weapons in early hard mode to take down tanky targets with, having all the negatives of low damage, accuracy, fire rate, and not even great range compared to things like the Shadow Flame Knife. And as you'd expect, things don't really lighten up against bosses either, with the Queen Slime really being the only possible boss you should ever consider going up against. But even then, for the love of god just use a Shadow Flame knife instead. Oh, and despite its technical piercing on return, this did not help me at all against the Destroyer, basically just being a way to deal very small amounts of damage infrequently to a massive boss, that'll most definitely get the last laugh. <laughs> Honestly, if someone can actually beat the Destroyer with this thing, my mind will be blown. It wouldn't even surprise me at this point if it sucked against the Wall of Flesh. Wait, actually no, that's a little bit too far. <laughs> Still though, the reality is, if we assumed an average of 26 crates required to get this thing, why not just do the fishing during a blood moon, because I'm almost certain you'll get the Dripper Cripple beforehand. So yeah, the Anchor, possibly one of the most wasted weapons in Terraria, which if I'm being honest here, with it being introduced in 1.2 and the Dripler in 1.4, its shortcomings probably just came from its age, with it seriously requiring some attention to even get a chance of someone unironically going for it. But who knows, maybe some of you out there secretly adore it. This has been Socrates, and I'll see you in the next one.